Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. Wait, they know they were Joshua? He did. He was there. Oh, yeah. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. Hmm. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. In the name of freedom! Theaters <laughs> and speak looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war weary victor. They'll never see us coming. Uh -huh. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Find something, boy. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the circle, uh, webcam. I'm really digging it. What are we doing? Oh, that's right. We're Sid now. Oh, man. R.I.P. Sid. But dang, I look good. What's up? I saw, he was in the mess. Oh, that's right. We're speaking to Otto. Welcome back, Sid. Finish with that long, so... Hey, Gio. Otto will want to know what happened in Cosmos. I expect he'll be in the mess. Yeah, never was strong. I am a unit. Clive is slowly becoming my ideal physique. Look, it's Sid. I know. Maybe I don't know. I could have gone up here and done this already. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. I just didn't want to get put in a cutscene. That's why I did my ooh. You can replay stages and whatnot. Wait a minute, what is that? Wait, can I touch that? It was question mark, question mark, question mark. Can I? Oh. I guess I can't. Does that one have blood on it? <laughs> yeah, the weapons. Don't just stand there gulping. Coin purse weighing you down. Oh, okay. I actually like this. That's pretty cool. It's just like, they got elixirs now? Oh, buddy. Come on now, it's elixirs. Hey, lady, you're selling them, so I'm gonna buy them. Heck, I'll say, um... Yeah, there you go. That was nowhere near enough. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Okay, cool. 
Hey, Blackie. That's a mm. What do you want? Game is. It lost you a good while. Yeah, it's better. Can I reinforce it? No. Thanks, I guess. Oh, a circ! Oh! It's like a katana! <gasps> My bed chambers! Ooh! Wall of memories? What's this? Oh, that's cool! Neat. Oh, what's over here? It's like a mem 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 memorabilia. Oh, a chest. Hey. It's like that's like that's like that's like ain't it? Hold on. Should I go back to it right now? Ah, hold off. We got stuff to do. How do I get there? Oh. Doesn't look kind of the Spartacus though. I do like Spartacus more than more than uh Vikings, but that's just me. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sends his thanks. I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Republican army. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Which army is that again? Who's she? Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a guided airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. What happened to my face? Oh, did I cut my... Oh, yo, I know you lying. I cut... Oh, I, cut... I finally cut off my face. Yeah. I trust I'm not intruding. Oh, hello. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? I don't really know. You've come for one of my lessons. <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Last I remember, we took away a crystal, didn't we? the northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder, then, that Sylvester set his sights on a crystalline dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. 
The non-aggression treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? All of this so long. You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. What? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Oh, okay. Tell him it was um, adequate. Okay. Hey. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Wait, can I talk to her again? Yo! Ah, my favorite pupil. I'll do all this later. I wish our Lawsman would consider acquiring some more contemporary volumes. I tire of the classics. I'm sorry to get that. Anyway, back to being a savior. Ooh. Doesn't feel like it, but I am a hero. I think. Hey, what's up, Jim? Seems so happy to see us. It's good to be home. There it is. Sure it is. Hey, what's up, Bard? I ain't got time for your songs. Hello. Norseman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. <laughs> Welcome home, Clive. You were missed. As always. I better have been. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Wait, what's this thing called? Yeah, okay. Already? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. <laughs> but alas, I no longer possess the Speaking of devour, today's snack is brought to you by rice cakes. Rice cakes, healthy. That said, Cinnamon rice cakes. I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. In use to me. Don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not. Try not to let it go into the mic. The right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. I'm not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Hmm? Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> there's a Moogle, right? Okay. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav yeah, will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Mm -hmm. 
Do my throw. Like a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. <laughs> what could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? Have you been to the toll? I hear a new shipment just arrived. Right. There's all this. Sh what? This place is big. Hello, Jill. What are you doing in here, ma'am? Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Hmm. Alright. Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the. Hold on. But we can have dang things. We'll rip the pack open. We'll rip it all over. The reading table in this chamber. Some new messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon return to the hideaway. Okay. <laughs> what does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march. Leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. So but look else. how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain. War after war, loss upon loss. And now, now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. Wait, they know they were Joshua? He did. He was there. Oh, yeah. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we...
we must be ready when he does. Hey, to the home. Now pull one out on the table. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Change of gear. You're getting serious for him. Master Clive, a moment, if you... Oh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just... Discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. What do you think we were doing? What would make Martha leave the rest? Something has happened to Martha. We need to speak with Otto. Who's Martha? Why are you following me? The music is ominous. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in this area started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Oh, Martha, I think. Spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Hmm. So somber. Finish 
Everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tet does our lemon tarts. Suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rot for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. What's that green icon? Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pitchers of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain. Fucking ball. <laughs> I didn't hear what I was saying at first. <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> That's clever. So we're gonna deal with that in a moment. Oh, well, hell. I didn't read the name all the way. What happened here? Dang it. We need to find the others. Are you okay? Martha. They have the old rest to answer to. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. The Imperials have already left. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, mm -hmm. one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about the culling. Mm -mm. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. No, I want sound of this. I want sound of this. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Culling is not a good word, bro. What are you after? I don't know, man. What the hell is this? Oh. Take care out there, eh? I'll try. 
Oi, look sharp. Look at my pretty boy. If those horses touch an arrow on Martha's head. Oh, wow. What is this thing? Ow. Black Shields. The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Bravo! Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. Oh, that's not a body. Spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. Hmm. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. 
This won't take long. You know what? We got some fun. Think so. Let's go find some more though. Oh, that's some food. No. Ah. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Ain't been alive, that man's probably dead. died protecting him, calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. Told me that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be safe unless we save her. Tell Martha. To beg Sue's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I, I should they not know that I'm Sid? Sid, where are you? Sid, in here, we found a survivor. Clive. He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bears... They didn't need to die like this. You're telling me. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the Abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Riddick's jump. The currents there are swift. 
If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust to himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Evil eye. Word? I have bounties now? Can't <laughs> say less, bro. Jesus! Doom. Whoa, boy! Yes. What the? Oh my god! Come here. Oh my lord! Ah, oh, dodge that baby! Ah, oh, dodge that baby! Flames of the bird! Shit, shit, shit! 
Oh, ball. I dodged that. Okay. Oh, I parried him. And I got him. My shoulder just... It's a level up too, ain't it? That's a lot of money. See that coming. <laughs> nice five. Nice. Wait, can't you walk in the water? I cannot. That must be the bridge. Should have kept his eye on the prize. <laughs> that was fun. That's what remains. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Now we could just fast travel. Which we are going to fast travel. Mm. What's next? Off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Hey, bad news. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. Well, that was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these Black Shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If big swords or big men? Think they can come in here again and threaten my people? They're in for a rude awakening. I get both would suffice. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Where is he? And you must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. 
Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers. Look at that Hey, level up. Let's go. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. I have some black blood. <laughs> How many we got? Oi, you there. What? what? Are you handy with that sword of yours? Might be. Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos. chocobos. You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. <laughs> it's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. Mm. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw them cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. White wing for down. I'll do that later. Well, it's right there, I guess. Mm, we'll do that later. The look at the map. It's the highway. Where's Gav? Hey, what's up, Jill? Gav should be back by now. I hear there's trouble. Yo, Gavi, no. Ah, Clive, <laughs> I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? <laughs> what, no <laughs> kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> If it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. In the name of freedom! <laughs> as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Arthur. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. Uh -huh. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals.
Four mother crystals remain in storm and ash. Drake's breath near Ironholm. Drake's fang in Dalmechia. Drake's spine in Walud. And Drake's tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to mm -hmm. help. Who's that then? My uncle, Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Hello, this by the Dragon Knight. Rossfield. Oh, Spiral the Dragon Nineteen. I won't put the wrong name. And you're a Rossfield, of course. You just clicked that together. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? <laughs> I do enjoy your optimism, gal. Oh, I could have made a good thumbnail shot. Otto's counter is now open. What that mean? I thought I'm on the end of the box, yes. Patient was what the hell is that? The hunt board, okay. Okay. I'm doing good. Well, I could complain with the point. I'm doing good, though. What are we waiting for, indeed? There's so much stuff to do. I hear there's trouble in Rosaria. What is there not trouble, lady? You, you God, it's a long walk. Uh, we'll come back. Jill. Your uncle always seemed a kindly soul, if a little eccentric. Thank you. Never met the man. At least I haven't. He has, but I haven't. Is all right. Yep. Hello. Oh, Clive. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh, no. That's still me. It's just Karen has a toll. Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. Oh, I thanks for the follow. Every item that arrives. In addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation, the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Certainly. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Completing side quests one five for now. Okay, that's what that is. Inspiring names and plus twins to donate money. <laughs> nice. Visit Desiree at the patient's whisper and hide or items. Blah 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 blah. Yo, that's a lot. I can just take this? You earned this. Oh, yeah! Berserker wing. Best of luck out there, Sid. Thank you. Yo. Clive. Quick look. Ain't no available quest. Okay. You. What's up, Mogul? <laughs> Appreciate you. The matter is this, Kubo. I miss my Kubo voice, but God, it's been a while since I played 14. Breakers pose sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, 
Leaving your mightiness aside for the moment. I'm on the Light in the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Got it. Was that Karim so good? How to get more renowned to see? Wait, what's like 45 or something like that? <laughs> Kill that one first try. What the hell is it? What is the. Whoa, whoa, hold on. What's the angel of death? Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Now that I'm fine with. It's, we have to see a picture of that. That's fine. What the hell is the Angel of Death? That's a lot of money, though. It's a lot of freaking money. Uh, decisions, decisions. I don't want to do what? What is that? What's down there? Oh my god. It's so far away. Run faster, boy. Come on. You have Ilfreet, Tight, Ramu, Ilfreet, Ramu, Garuda, and Phoenix in your body. Hey, Tom, look at you playing with the kids. Aren't you nice? Bite their fingers if they try to touch you. My dog's friendly only to me and Jill, like this. Yo, Jill's just nice. Whee! 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 Eh. Holy hell, it's space like dig. Look at it. I'll figure that out later. You, man with the side quest. I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just an angel on his <laughs> Nice. We've been trying to grow fruit. It's an angel on his death. It's good to know there's something of the What if it's waste. not an angel? What if it's death? In the Wait, that makes no sense. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it. I can't know. figure out what the heck that type of name could be. What is an angel? I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died. Final Fantasy and now times. the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. That's not possible. I've tasted a green apple. It's always bitter. I thought this first harvest could go to the curse breakers. On account of all they do for the hideaway. And me. Couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better of them coming from you. I'm always a freaking errand boy. Nice I'll do it though, because I'm nice. Change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? Once they've had <laughs> what their the hell's share, Angel of Death these names? Gets some. Here you go. Mark Sometimes they just get random monsters, these type of names. I'm like, what are we doing here? You hear that, Martel? Today's finally the day. Oh wait, did the old guy die? Oh man, that sucks. He was so high strung on his, you know, gardening. Apples and all that. Two baskets of apples. Why is that a like an epic item? Huh. Apples are the most great damn. Apples are the best fruits. I can understand. Next to grapes. Well, no grapes. They, uh, they don't last that long. I hate that. Come through the forge today. What is it on? Still, it would explain black. Where am I going? That's not the right way. Move. Wee. Get out of the way. Hey, Blackthorn. Uh, yeah, that's your name. Am I going in the right direction? Right? No. This makes it so big. Whee! Ah. Uh, Clyde used to work on his hops. He could have gone to the NBA if he tried hard enough. Hello, fat Fabian. Fabian? You two look like you could use something to eat. Yeah. Courtesy of Martel. A basket of Martell's apple. Martell. 
Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Of course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. You're welcome. I just went so Hello. Hello. What? what boring? Boring. Backyard for your service. They look not eh, they kind of orange looking. Oh, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Uh, old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. <laughs> that sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These are Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the dead ones. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clive, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? Why am I always an errand boy? So much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? Sure. That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Enough to curb your guts. Here has to be past the What is this? But these beauties are as sweet as you like. When this whole thing just flies, that would be amazing. Where am I going? Wrong way. That's where I'm going. I hear there's trouble in Rosaria. What else do you hear, lady? Do you hear anything else? Anything more like exciting? Like, I don't know. Did you hear trouble with a backflip? I taught him that. But the other trick you know is like biting in midair and biting on the ground. Whee! I have a simple creature. The curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her a after all these years. I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? What a sad. She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. <laughs> when she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martell lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I... oh, I didn't do anything really, but... Thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. Now, I'll see that you're both well provided for. Thank you, good sir. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings. Juice. Let's get it. What is this? Oh, cool. Oh, cool. 
I'm getting rich. What do we do now? What do we do now? Go hell. What the I can't go nowhere? Motherfucker. Right. Oh damn. We're just increasing our travel this day. We must get Southern Rosaria. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to Domlins? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. <laughs> Doyle? Doyle, what's on? I'm a little I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Iron Home. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. Just love his face. What's wrong with me? How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? Most likely. More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements. Oh wow. I'm three levels above you guys. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Murder. Come here. Yes. Ow. Hey, what did y'all just hit me? This one. I have two thousand. Man, I need to start burning these things. Where we going? That's a colorful choker, though. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Mm -hmm. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befalls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> well, it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What 
business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller's son? Hello. Welcome, stranger. Are you well? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. Huh, <laughs> sucks to be them. I mean, oh, that sounds so bad. Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin mm. for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stone. Hello? You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? Yeah. I think it was Black Shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the are sending nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. <laughs> if only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Amazing. Sorry. Wires. So many wires. <clears throat> Where are we going? There's more low. I thought it was just two ago. Yo, villager. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? Okay, well. I couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. Okay, cool. You to leave Amber and never come back. Really? May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. How do you know that? The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Um. That makes sense. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha... I wish Joshua. Who else in Rosary I doubt that. Would to stand against the Empire? Oh, the Dominant, maybe? Well, I would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. To the next village, then. Make the port. I be so. Yep. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Okay. You sound like you're scared, girl. Come on. You got me on your side. Oh. Since 
the apothecary. You'll see more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking them? The Mother Crystal's forms? I have an idea. You're not going to like it. Probably invest in some more skills. It costs two thousand just to upgrade it. That's insane. Hey, a black blade, a black shield, whatever. Oh, a bomb. Chest. I dang near died. More of my mother's men. Stay down. Give me Dragon or a wyvern. Uh, excuse me. Let's 
Ну, можем. Ау. Why do you say I was looking? Oh! That's why. Oh! <laughs> they just like walk down. I'm stupid. So here. Blood? Blood, Clive. And still wet. Told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are, and still, you would bear your steel. Yeah, I don't really care who you are. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. Cool. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and the dawn. On these. Our swords, we swear. Say that again. Let's say you just pissed me off, man. That mess. I'll show you a true shield, Thunder Storm. Fuck it. Haven't used this in a while. Tell me what I want, and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. Mm -hmm. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. Mm. Crap. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Hold on, friends. At least I think you're my friends. We're coming to serve the dirty. Either that or bury a lot of you, but we're gonna try to save you. 
open the girts. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Find something, boy. Jesus. This was my mother's doing. But why? <laughs> why would anyone? I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this. Oh, Clive. should go yes mm. we can't leave them here like this mm -hmm. we won't but if the black shields have made it this far south they may already be in port isolda The entire village is just dead. We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Didn't happen to come by way of Old Hill, did you? Saw some Imperials clad in black making for the docks just the other day. The next morn, you couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. Yep. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. Don't go thinking you'll find refuge in the houses outside Port Isolde. The place is a wretched hive of thieves and blackguards. Hmm. Yeah, he... Crabs. Big old crabs, too.
Hold on a second. I gotta pee. I gotta pee, I gotta pee, I gotta pee. I will be right back. I can win.
Oh, I'm back. Happy. And we gotta get to the stopping point so we can play some God of War soon. Hello. Oh wow, one. <laughs> Another city? Or a town? No, that's that's a town, I think. Okay. Is it? Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. Can we go in here? We should start with the main gate. And see where that gets us. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Where they go? I'm gonna say, who's trying to get in? My children are starving! Have mercy! We'll need to find another way in. And that's where the other gates come in, right? I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. But Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. The entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? Mm, probably not. As long as it is abandoned. Black like bones. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. Open. Oh. The hell? Oh, that was the door closing. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. Hey, chest. Oh, 
Aw, that's cute. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Where are they hiding? I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. We can speak inside. Oh, I didn't kill him. Let's see, I got killed his friends or excuse me. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Good job. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but... She wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. Mm -hmm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why... I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready.
This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. No oh, hope granted. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. Ah, oh, thanks, Wade. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. <laughs> I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Oh, precious. I can find trouble again. You know what? This seems like a good time to stop meeting a good little friend from the playoffs. I want to see them. I want to see them.